Forget about the new troops. Forget about the new magic items. We have five new cosmetics. Every single skin is getting improved and there's so many more cosmetics updates. First, let's look at the new improvement on the skins and the new hero skin selection menu UI. All the skins have had the lighting and textures improved. I don't have footage of every single new skin texture yet, but here are the four default skins and I'll show you the new skins in just a minute. In the patch notes for this update, they said that we should notice some additional details and some sharper quality. If you notice any new details that weren't there before, let me know in a comment and I'll definitely keep on the lookout and keep you guys updated. I love the new UI of this selection screen. It's amazing how they have such a wider view of the skins. Now for the skins like the Goblin Warden where they run up from the side, we'll actually be able to see their entire selection animation. I love the background, how it's actually animated. You can see leaves blowing by, the clouds are moving in the background. Everything is so crisp and there's so much detail. It blurs as it goes into the background and the skins look amazing. I love the new lighting and the texture. You can just see the skin so much better now because they're so much brighter and now you can see more details of the skin. And this might even be better for when you're attacking because now the skins will be brighter, your heroes will be easier to find, especially for some hero skins, which may be harder to see on the battlefield. Clash of Clans definitely did not have to do this, but I'm so glad they put in the effort and we don't have to pay any extra for their skins. We still have all our skins, but they've all been improved, which is amazing. There's also been some improvement to the scenery purchase UI. So when there's a scenery in the shop, there's a little eye icon that you can click on and get a small window preview of the scenery. But now, whenever you click on that icon, you will get a full view of the scenery as if you own it. You get to zoom in and look around the entire scenery before deciding whether you want to buy it or not. And while you're looking around the scenery, you'll also be able to purchase it from that screen. This is huge for people looking to buy a scenery and may or may not know whether they should buy it because they can't really get a full view of it. So I'm super happy for this change. We have four new skins. They're all going to be available in the Clan War League shop for 2,000 CWL medals. First of all, the League King. This is an insane skin. It is in the running for one of my favorite king skins. It's like the Gladiator King on steroids. It's insane how the entire skin is shiny gold metal and it just looks so epic. His selection animation just makes him feel so powerful and his sound effects are insane as well. This is definitely going to be the first League skin that I'm gonna be purchasing. The League Archer Queen is an interesting one. She has an orange and yellow color scheme and she's based on the Master League of CWL. The King actually I didn't mention is based on the gold league each one of these four skins is based on one of the clan war league leagues the queen is a pretty dope skin but it's not really my style it's definitely not a bad skin but the helmet looks a little weird to me but she does have some pretty sweet animations and her and the king spawn custom troops that are equally as cool as they are the king is definitely my favorite but the warden actually is pretty close to the king i love the look of this new warden skin he's based on the crystal league he has a purple and light blue along with some pink accents on him. His animations are insane. I love his design. I can't wait for several months until I can actually buy this skin. I really love the attacking effect of this skin. It fits it perfectly and it looks really, really clean. And then the fourth skin is the League Champion. The League Champion is based off the Masters League. Honestly, it was kind of a missed opportunity for a Champion League Champion but I guess we'll just have to wait for the actual champion champion. Right now, I don't have any footage that I'm allowed to share of the league champion, but I'll try to share it as soon as I can. For now, all I have is this image. I'm not expecting a lot out of the league champion, but who knows, maybe they're gonna make a champion skin that's gonna blow me away. All these league skins are going to be permanently in the Clan War League shop, so you don't have to worry. Take your time, earn league medals, don't stress out about it. Just have fun, earn the medals, and eventually, you'll be able to buy all the skins and the scenery, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And anyone can buy these league medals. It doesn't matter what league you're in, even though they're based off of specific leagues, anyone can buy these. There's no specific league required, just as long as you have enough medals. And again, all these skins will be sold for 2000 league medals each. And the fifth cosmetic that we're getting in the CWL shop, just like these skins, is the league scenery. This is an exclusive war scenery, so you're not gonna be able to use this on your home village 
range. If you buy this, it's only going to be selectable on your war base. The price of the league scenery is going to be 2,400 league medals. So 400 extra if you want the scenery over a skin. I am a huge fan of this scenery, way better than the Inferno Town scenery. If you're thinking about buying a war scenery, I would highly recommend this one. You'll have to earn a bunch of league medals, but at least you don't have to spend any money on it. I love the concept of this scenery. It's basically a coliseum. I love all the troops with each of their animations. The giants are always clapping. Some of the barbarians and skeletons are waving banners. And overall, it just has a really cool vibe to it. I love the color scheme, all the details, all the statues. There's some golden hero statues down at the bottom and some other statues scattered throughout. There's probably a lot of really fun Easter eggs. I've already found Found a couple one of my favorite parts is the trojan horse up at the top i don't know why i just found that amusing unfortunately don't expect a review of all these cosmetics anytime soon because yeah but the updates don't stop yet. The Grand Warden has new animations and new sound effects that go along with his slight rework. I have to say I love this way more than his old one. He's got some new voice lines and then he summons his book and then lands on the ground. A small change that I'm glad they fixed was the Barbarian King selection and pose sound effects. Before the update, they were switched. Whenever you would select him, it wouldn't sound quite right because the sound wouldn't line up with all his gestures. Same for the pose animation and I figured out that the two sound effects had gotten switched somehow, but now they seem to be fixed. Another small sentence that was in the patch notes was that the league shop is now available in the builder base. Now, I don't know if this is a huge deal, but maybe it means we're gonna get some league skins for the builder base, who knows? Make sure you're subscribed for more content about skins and sceneries, and check out this video because YouTube thinks that you're gonna wanna watch it.